These boxes contain saxophones, an instrument that exists to test the nerve of struggling parents all across the globe. In this video, I will explain how saxophones are made. A sheet of brass is delicately hammered into shape by a skilled worker. Another worker massages the phallic end of his tool before continuing to beat it. His workpiece has some undesirable kinks he wants to iron out. The body of the saxophone is made out of brass tubing which is smaller at one end than the other. This is a difficult shape to make, but fortunately a poached elephant tusk that has been straightened out provides exactly the correct dimension for this purpose. A brass tube is placed over the tusk, given a sloppy coating of lubricant, and then sucked into the anus of a large metal tool. The excrescence from this tool is now the right size and shape to become the saxophone's body. Here, a worker places the bell end into a large press and then uses their array of BDSM toys to expand the hole into the correct size. The sound of this process has been muted to ensure this video is suitable for our audience. A machine called a Weebler spins the instrument around. This does nothing to help the construction process, but it is a great way to get rid of any inattentive and underperforming workers. Once the body has been formed, all of the various components and mechanisms are soldered to the instrument. They used to use origami, but the corrosive spit of your saxophone player caused this approach to be abandoned. After assembly, a worker begins the finishing process. Here, a buffing wheel removes all of the hopes and dreams of the instrument. A flimsy piece of cardboard is provided to keep the workers nice and safe should any of the sharp metal pieces fly off. Hand engraving is performed by another skilled worker. This helps the instrument look visually stunning, but it does nothing to improve the sound that it'll make, which is a shame. The assembly process continues by adding cork bumpers, pads and other accessories to the instrument. A worker inserts a light into the instrument's backside to help find any leaks. It is only whilst inside the factory that the instrument will be in good condition. Once sold, several non-warranty defects are added to give the player an excuse for making a bad noise. One final special moment is shared between the worker and his creation. The worker has given up any hope of a successful relationship, and this moment of intimacy is the highlight of his week. Another somewhat appalled worker comes along to install the defects mentioned earlier and to wipe the residue left behind from the caressing it received in the previous step. Although not normally offered as an option, because of the personal hygiene of some saxophone players, more and more makers are adding condoms to their more prestigious instruments as the thought of what happens to their babies in the wild causes them pain. Saxophones are among some of the most complex and involved instruments we can make. It can take years to master the art of building an instrument as beautiful as these. It's just a shame that the sound doesn't match.